Hello everybody, welcome back to Cure for the Common Game. Today, in deck number 545, we are going to talk about Thrix the Sudden Storm that has nothing to do with the storm mechanic. For 5 mana, we get a 4-5 Flash Flying Elemental Giant. So, and the art is beautiful. Uh, spells you cast with CMC 5 or greater cost 1 less and can't be countered. So, I don't know about you, but when I read this the first time, I, I read, My Force of Will can't be countered. And then I realized I don't have any more Force of Wills. But you get the idea. Uh, big Spell Tribal, I guess, is... Uh, um, now, it, that's Spell. So that's uh, Artifacts, Creatures, Enchantments, whatever you cast, you know. So I figured the very first thing is Creatures. Because that's what I wanted to do. I wanted a big blue beatdown. So... Here we go. The first thing we need in Pig Blue Beatdown is mana. You know, Soul Ring, Seer's Lantern, Pristine Talisman, Altar of the Pantheon, Kozilek's Chandler, Spectral Searchlight, Silver Mirror, Midnight Clock. I would have liked to have had some of the some of the multiples, you know. Uh, the multiple mana rocks like um, you know, Thran Dynamo and Warden Power Stone and stuff like that. But uh, Shoot, let's look at some creature. Or here. here. Well, yeah. Now, Pairing and Drake is, is a good card, but when it only costs four, it's really, really good. Now, I don't have a way to infinitely bounce this to create infinite mana. It's just a really good card. Um, Mold Drifter here. Again, just a really good card. And at four mana instead of five, that's... That's not that bad. Steel Hellkite, uh, pretty good removal. Check this out. Deep Channel Mentor. Uh, blue creatures you control are just flat, unblockable. I love it. Uh, Sharding Sphinx, Royal Elemental, and yeah, yeah, I went there. Air Elemental. Air Elemental for four is outstanding, okay? <laughs> uh, Air Servant. Also, it, you know, can act as its own evasion, or even better, tapping things that will block it. Uh, you know, Soul Blade Dijin. Sphinx of the Jor Isle. Did you notice that almost all those creatures have uh, flying? So... Uh, that made me want to go with like the Warden of Evo's Owl uh, to do kind of a tribal flying thing. You know, Stormtide Leviathan, uh, a Quicksilver Gargantuan, Windstorm Drake, even fits because it's a five drop as well. Clone, while not a five drop, it is a. Uh, when you play with biggish creatures, Clone is, is, is pretty good. Uh, Frost Titan, Inkwell Leviathan, Tromocratus, Lorthos. It's just like the who's who of all the giant blue fatties. Um, Deep Fathom Skulker, creature you control this combat damage to a player, you get to draw a card. And for four mana, granted, one of it is colorless, specific target creature can't be blocked that's why i put in uh waste so that being said we'll show you the rest of it in bringer really really good card uh it is going to be one cheaper so we're paying five instead of six and we're probably just using it to draw the card if we've got enough colorless we're going to draw as many cards as possible uh Ulamox crusher Perplexing Chimera is just a great card. I almost put that in the removal slot. I didn't. Uh, on the spell, Adept. This is, I mean, you may cast an instant or sorcery from your hand without paying its mana cost. I wonder what one we want to cast. Maybe Denying Wind. Um, Caliph. Breaching Leviathan. Now, I like this one. If you cast it from your hand, tap all non-blues. They don't untap for a turn. Uh, Fog Bank, because let's face it, we're going to need some early uh, 
early protection and renegade doppelganger. I love this one. You can play it early and it just gets better. Uh, let's look at some card draw, shall we? Um, first, we're going to start with Thought Reflection, obviously. I mean, yes, it's seven mana, but it's a lot less fragile than a Consecrated Sphinx. Granted, Consecrated Sphinx is a better card. I get it. Uh, but it, it dies a lot more than Thought Reflection. Uh, Jace's Ingenuity, Rush of Knowledge. I figure since we got high casting cost stuff, let's... <laughs> Let's use it to our advantage, right? Uh, Covenant of Mines. I like... I like the Kobayashi Maru for your opponents. The no-win scenario. Uh, we as Magic players typically don't like cards that give your opponent the choice of what to do. But when all choices are bad for your opponent... Hey. <laughs> um, tidings. Mind Spring, of course, tying into the flying theme, Winged Words. Uh, Future Sight, while not card draw, it is and is not. <laughs> and then Treasure Cruise, because sometimes it's just an ancestral recall. Uh, Gravitational Shift, there you're going to go with the flying thing, as well as Favorable Winds. Now, Octopus Umbra, I'll be honest with you, I, I was just like, wow, the, you know. It doesn't give it plus eight. I love how it says its base power is eight eight. Uh, that way, other shenaniganery can ensue on top of that. Um, psychic battle. Now, psychic battle is uh, old card, reminiscent of the newer ability, still old clash. Whenever a player chooses one or more targets, just chooses targets, spell ability, whatever. Everybody. Reveals the top card of their library. The player who reveals the card with a high CMC may change the targets. So, I figured with our high CMCs, this may uh, this may help us out quite a bit. And super fun. Uh, I, I I love weird kind of randomly stuff like this, and it it just makes us you know. Well, I'll try this. I don't know what's going to happen. Then, of course, we got Ice Cave. Um, I love that reminder text. Mana Clost includes color. Uh, so let's look at removal, as it were. Uh, we have Diminish, Scour from Existence, Sleep, Negate, Devastation Tide. Of course, the two Blast. Hydra Blast and Blue Elemental Blast. And then I was kind of not happy with the amount of creature removal at that point. But Blue doesn't have, like, you know, an amazing amount. So I went Persuasion. You know, if we steal a creature from an opponent, we're plus a creature, they're minus a creature. Now, granted, if something happens to the enchantment, yeah, they get it back, whatever. But it's about as good as it gets in blue. Well, besides your one mana slingers. Uh, mind con whoop, whoop. Get up there, mind control. Mind control. Volition reigns. Heck, this one you get to untap it. Uh, corrupted conscience, though, is kind of... Yeah, that's kind of the baddie there. Just, just for the fact of infect, you know. Uh, Non-basic lands of... Uh, Evolving Wilds, Rogue's Passage, Lonely Sandbar. And you know what? I'm kind of loving these Eldraine lands. Uh, now, granted, you know, it's no secret that Mystic Sanctuary is a great card. We all know that. But, especially in Mono Blue. But, uh, I really kind of liking them all. Um, yeah. That is what we have got for Thrix. Uh... Excited to play this one because I I feel like that there are, gosh, so many different ways to build this. Um, you could have just as easily gone Sea Monster Tribal or, uh, you know, Creatureless. There, there could have been just a gajillion ways to do that. So... Anyway, that is 545 and it is done.
putting it on the wall. Uh, I, I do apologize. I know it's been a couple days, um, but I'll be honest with you. I had uh, re recorded the decks up, and then I had to build. So I've got that one and three more done. I think I've got... Uh, I'm really close to... Arab is it Erebos? No, Erebos is right there. Anyway, close to having this one done. So, um, just what it is. Uh, this is why I don't prescribe to a set schedule. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all let me know what you think. But right now, we're going to shuffle and cut.